Oh no, I got it. Never mind. I got it. Woo! Oh. Yeah. I fi I figured I uh, didn't realize I could loot the or I wasn't sure I, I was checking for the mammoth quest because I'm not sure if I got it done. <laughs> I was like I I was looking at the wrong mammoth, so I was like, oh no, I didn't get it. I thought that was out of range. There we go. I got the quest. I still don't know what that quest is for. We'll pop back. Chris. Thanks. Thanks, man. I uh, I was like unsure. Then I w I got a little worried. I was looking at my inventory. Didn't care about the reds at all. I was like, I just want this all. <laughs> Give it to me. That's for the other. So it's in the Hall of Warriors. We talk to the High Priest, I guess. Or oh, unlike any other. Okay. Oh, uh, your text has disappeared. I don't appear to be able to. Uh, we try that again. Okay. There we go. Chosen thing. Okay. Notes on the Haram's chosen ring. Okay. Got some notes. I think I turn it into someone else, right? This one else, like right here. Alright, so we talk to the blacksmith. Crafting the ring. I've created one or two masterpieces in my lifetime. So if you're up for it, okay, let's do this. What? What was that? Find me what? Excuse me? 50 iron ingots. Okay. That's fair enough. 5 steady ingots. 20 gold ingots. Okay. Th these are going to be expensive. I feel like people have upped the price on these. We'll do our best. Oh, okay. Quite quite cheap. We'll get those. We'll get the 20 here. That's a 50 iron ingots. And steady ingots. Oof, these are expensive. It's gonna cost me 100 gold. I'll do it. I'll make it happen. I don't know if that's what the worth, but I'm doing it. What about the gold? Gold ingots. They're pretty expensive too. Alright, that cost me a fair amount of gold. Let me go collect all this. So we bought everything we need. Now we go turn it into the blacksmith. Wait, did I miss some? What have I got in the mail? Oh no, I just I didn't delete it. All right, we got all we need. We'll turn it into the blacksmith, and he will craft me the ring. Oh, there we go. There's the bar. He's doing it. There we go. Oh, we got a daily quest for it. Does it come? Minor forge shredding otherwise this new development is very valuable. Okay, collect ten at the river in West Ram. Okay. Now I've done it, this is not what it's supposed to look like. The ring's not finished at all. Didn't work, okay. Alright. So we got a daily quest, which is mining heridium. And then collect focused heridium by obtaining blackness. Wait, so I've got to do his daily quest seven times? Oh, I've got to do this quest seven times before I can get the ring. I don't have the ring already, do I? Alright, well, it's a good thing I started this early. So I can get the ring early. So I need to go to the river in West Ram. Which... Is... Well, anywhere along here, I guess. So I'll just go Haram Cave. Actually, I don't... Hold on. Haram... Camp. We'll go camp. That'll work. Alright, I'm getting, I'm getting very excited about this. Oh, oh my lord, give it to me. I need... Okay. Two down. Eight more to go. And then I have to do this six more times. To get the ring. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
How? Why would they make a quest like this? Why would you do this? <gasps> oh! No, 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 no! Back this way! Back this way! It's right by the waterfall. There's so much over here. Okay, hold on. This is perfect. There's no one here as well. Oh. I'm gonna pop my, uh, my elf racial as well. I can see more in the distance as well. Okay, okay. I went down the river once and there was none and now it's all here. As that one person went down the river past me. Oh no, there's reds here. Get away. They're on that one already. But I'm getting Gilder Stars occasionally from mining and Lunar Tempers and stuff. Okay. This is super interesting. I didn't even notice as it was happening. There's one. There's the last one I need. I wonder if you can take more and just keep farming these. I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, it's going to be harder for them, you know, to notice them. I did just get another Lunar Temper. Oh. So, from all of that, I got... I wish I had uh, just a chat for my loot. Hey, bunny. Welcome back. Hype. Yeah, so from all that, I got... I got the Heridium for the quest. I got two Lunar Tempers, a little bit of Copper, a little bit of Gold Ore. And infu I got a couple of Infusions, actually. The only green ones, though. And then I got a Gilder Star. I got another Gilder Star. Did I get anything else? Okay, so I got two Gilder Stars from that. Alright, so we then just go back to Hollow Warriors. And we'll uh, turn this in, and that's one of the seven dailies out of the way. Alright, and now we're back. Come on over to the blacksmith boy. Be like, hey, hey, hey. And there we go, that's one of seven. My inventory is full of gold and copper and all this stuff now. Oof. Alright, well, I guess we're going to keep doing that for a whole week and, you know, I'll see what else we got to do after that. There's probably more steps. There always is with these rings. Okay, so after seven days of collecting the refined heridium, we'll come on back on over to the blacksmith and we're going to go hand that in and get our next quest. You are going to have to continue doing this daily to um, get the complete ring. It, I believe you have to do it is it 14 more times? Because overall, it's like, it's, I think it's overall 21 times you have to do this daily, and you can keep doing it like as many times as you want, I believe. And you will get like the guilders and stuff from mining up the uh, heridium and stuff like that, so it's not too bad. I mean, the chance of getting guilders is very low, but it's, it's neat. But anyway, after we've done that, we've then got to go find the person who stole the ring because of course we won't, don't just get the ring we have to go find a person and there are three marked locations where this person can possibly be and um we're gonna briefly jump on over to all of those I eventually did find them all the way over by the black forest but I did go to the other two locations first because of course I did and of course he wasn't at either of those I don't know if there's a specific time that he spawns in each area or if there's any effect in that. But you will want to go to all of these areas. Maybe just go to them in, uh, from like the Black Forest down. It's really up to you. And then when you do get to him, and then when you do get to Ericsson, he seems to last for about an hour before he disappears. And I think once one person kills him, he probably vanishes and goes to another area. He can be a little bit of, of a trouble to take down if you're low equipment points on your own. You've just got to be a little bit careful. A little bit careful. He's got a few trips and stuff. But he's got some very big telegraphs for like AoE abilities that you want to avoid. You just avoid those and take him down. And then once you've taken him, taken him down, he... uh. He, of course, is like, okay, don't kill me. I'm friendly now. 
and you get the ring back. I, I have heard of some people having this bug out and not getting the ring piece, but I don't. I don't know if that's com that that's common or if that's something that usually happens. But anyway, what well, now that we've got the stolen Haram ring, we head on back to the Hall of Warriors. So once we get back, we can take it over to the advanced party leader, hand it in. And he's like, oh no, it's Serex and whatever, that kind of stuff. We'll just skip roll most of this. Like, I, I honestly don't read any of the text quest. And then we take it on over to the blacksmith, who will then, in turn, take like an hour to uh, reforge it. The typical NPC bar that you watch as he slowly makes the Haram rink. And this is it, this is where you get your rink. Or the first version of the rink. So uh, we're just going to skip through this because it does take forever. It's not as bad as uh, the previous quests where there was stuff like this. Because I remember early on in, in launch there was a quest like this. And this uh, took a while. There was that in the candle quest. Was, I don't know why they do it this way, but they do. It seems like a bit of an, an oversight. But anyway, once that's crafted, we talk to him again. And then he gives us the rank. A legendary Haram ring, which isn't legendary, it's heroic. I don't believe you ever get it to legendary. <laughs> you can take it up to epic, I believe. I think epic's the highest grade for it. Which is going to take a while to get to. So, there it is. There's the Haram's chosen ring. We're going to pop that on. And I'll be back with part two, which um, will show off the rest of the quest line. This one's going to take a little bit of time to put together because it does it does take a bit more. You also have to do um, Greater Dungeons 10 times at least. Defeat, defeat the end boss of it at Greater Dungeon 10 times. I did the solo in Sharpwind Mines, which I'll put out a video on how I did the Sharpwind Mines is not that hard alone. I guess it depends on your equipment points and stuff, but I'll put a video out showing what I did to actually do that. And yeah, I will have part two out, hopefully, in another week or so, we'll see, because it will take time to put together. I'm going to try and take it all the way to Celestial before I put that part out. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing, because I know there's a lot of steps. So you want to make sure you're doing your great dungeons, want to make sure you keep doing the Heridium. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to... uh like, subscribe, all that stuff, and check out my Twitch if you want to ask more questions, or watch me as I try and get the Haram ring myself. Because it does take a little while, it does cost like at least 3k gold, with the Starlight Archeum crystals that you need to put together as well, for the whole quest line. So make sure you're aware of all of that. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.